Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today I'm doing a Target shop with me and I'm picking up some things for my daughter's Sunday school group. So this is uh, in the dollar spot. They have some hand sanitizers and they're 70% alcohol, which is what you want to look for. You saw some Play-Doh for the bath. They have these little puzzle sets um, and they also have these water coloring tablets and they have different characters. Um, they have candy, of course, uh, all over the store. So um, you'll be seeing some of that, not too much. I want to focus on just things for kids to do. Um, where we live now, everything's still shut down. Um, schools are still shut down. And so it's nice to see a lot of things that, that can brighten up a kid's day, something that they can do at home. This was something new that I saw, these countdown calendars. It's kind of like an advent calendar, but each day, you know, it has a, a different little um, treat or a little toy, which is cool. I saw this cool little um, Valentine's Day book and it's nice because it does have music included so it's a little story but in the back there's actual um, sheet music so if you play an instrument at home parents or if your kids play an instrument or they're learning that's something fun that they can do and play a little valentine song after they read the story this is another little countdown calendar that i found and it's dinosaur themed so it has little dinosaurs cars and things like that so those look pretty fun they're five bucks um and yeah let's see what else they have this finger paint i love we buy it in several colors it's a dollar you could also find it at um, a dollar store and it's really great it doesn't stain this was a super cool find it's an embroidery kit and i know you can buy this stuff separately but this was only three dollars it comes with the hoop it comes with the cloth and all the um, embroidery thread and needle this is another cool crafting set you could use for sculpting painting um, any kind of crafts that you want to do and it's only three dollars as well uh, they also have the, these foam i don't know if you remember these if you're a 90s kid um, but they used to have uh, these little foam bead thingies those are pretty cool um, these are the valentine cards uh, you can pretty much find these anywhere uh, there was nothing really that stood out to me that really stood out to me i've seen a lot of these at the dollar store you know for a dollar and here they're three dollars and fifty cents four dollars some are 250 on the lower end but nothing really spectacular that you can't find at like the 99 cent store or the dollar store these mailboxes are so adorable they're only five dollars but i just thought they were so cute they have all kinds of little animals unicorns crocodiles sharks um, there's a rainbow one as well and i think it's cool for kids to kind of put together and, and make something fun so these are just a few more things um, that i saw and i'll stop talking so you can check out what else they have at target Another great find were these face masks. There's a set of three uh, in a pack, and those were six dollars. They look really nice. This little bath bomb set and bath set. I think these are great gifts for teachers. Uh, they need a little love and appreciation. Um, so these are nice little things that you can um, put in a package for the mail, or you can deliver, and they're really cute. So these lip smackers, I love these as a kid. If you're doing like um, little treat bags, you could even split up this pack so you could get more bang for your buck. Lego friends, my daughter is obsessed with Lego fr um, friends. 
and um, there's little um, gift sets like that too there's a mini Jenga those are cool and you could also use them for crafting these little plushies are adorable and um, they're at about five bucks so another great find was a play-doh um, they also have these at Walmart I believe but you know this this package was six dollars and I think it's also another great thing that you can split up so this is the the um, the different little treat bags that they have they come about 20 in a pack most of them um, which you could also find at the dollar store I think for cheaper but they have really cute designs these $10 pot holders were really really cute and then I also love this little cake pan um, I saw a video where they did like brownies in this heart shape and they dusted them with powdered sugar they look so adorable so um, lots of stuff to do for like a night in for a breakfast or a Valentine's Day um, treat lots of things that you could do at home this is one of those flannel uh, tablecloths but it's super thick and I like that it has rainbow colors because you could even reuse this for like a birthday or something another good find for teachers for your Sunday school teacher <laughs> for your kids teachers um, are these hand sanitizers I think they make great little gifts even for a friend girlfriend neighbor and they're scented um, they were sealed so I couldn't smell them but you can see the scents there so now I am in the kitchen section and they have these really pretty little bowls and plates that are heart-shaped and this is um, I believe like that melamine material they also have these mug sets and I've seen some other ones um, but they didn't have them at this Target it was pretty slim pickings here uh, at Target so if you're thinking of going um, you should head there now <laughs> to get your Valentine's Day stuff gift bags this year are so pretty and we're not big on valentine's day but you know think outside of the box you could even use these for like a bridal shower or you know um for like a bachelorette party or something like that lots of the the gift wrap and stuff is really cute so i also like these little stickers foam stickers they were only five dollars and it's 202 um stickers Again, slim pickings here, but there were some things for crafting. They had some foam hearts, some glitter foam hearts. Um, they also have some cardstock, uh, this little set of stamps, which I actually picked up. It was the only one I found in the whole store. I just had to get it, and you'll see it at the end in my little haul. Um, I really didn't pick up a lot of Valentine's Day things. I ended up getting more kitchen stuff. Uh, again, you'll see at the end, I'll show you guys what I picked up. But if you are shopping for any of this stuff, go now. Don't waste any time because stuff is already running out. Okay, guys, I'm editing now, but I just wanted to show you. I did make a second trip to Target and um, they had more things in stock. So I did pick up these little slap bracelets for $3. Again, with the 90s vibe. <laughs> with the little toys and things. I used to love these, so I'm sure um, the girls are gonna love these. And then I also got these little stampers, um, uh, these little stamps for $3 as well. And they're really cute. My daughter loves these, and um, I think the kids are gonna love them too. So those are gonna go in the goodie bags as well. Okay guys, so I just wanna show you what I picked up at Target, and I'm gonna start in the kitchen. The thing I was most happy about was um, a comal, a griddle basically. I mean, it's, we call it comal. And I wanna show you guys my old one. You guys have seen it in my <laughs> vegan recipes video, but the handle literally turns like all the way around. Um, it dances on the stove because it's so rounded at the bottom. And it's just, I mean, 
It served me well, but it is a pain in the butt every time I go to cook with it. So I decided to get a new one. Look, it's like literally leaving all kinds of like residue on me. Um, I decided to get this one and it's from Green Pan. I've heard of Green Pan. They do a lot of like nonstick cookware. It's a different technology. Like um, it's not like the traditional nonstick um, and it looks pretty cool. I can put four tortillas on here. Um, it heats up pretty fast and it's just so pretty. I, I'm really happy with it. Um, and it, this looks like a better construction than the one I had. So I'm happy about that. Um, I also picked up a soap pump, a soap dispenser. It's glass. The, the top is plastic and the bottom is plastic as well. And it has this little um, pad um, to help it to stabilize it so it won't slip. The one I had was perfectly fine, but it, it slipped out of my hands and um, I broke it. So, so next is this OXO Softworks 2-in-1 sink strainer and stopper. And it's really cool because this bottom part is removable. Um, it, it twists in the middle. It has a little knob that'll stop the flow of water so you could fill up your sink. And you can twist it to let the water flow through. It also pops out in the middle for cleaning. That is so cool. So you're not like banging your strainer. You know, you're always banging it against the trash can to get all the little bits out. This one pops out. So it's a really cool feature. It was $9.99 and it's the, the construction is pretty sturdy. So this is something I think I'll be keeping for a while. So I'll let you know how it works out. And if you guys like it, you can get one for yourself. Um, next, I have these Scotch-Brite sponges and then I got a Scrub Daddy. Now, um, these Scotch-Brite, sponges are my absolute favorite uh, I've used them for like a month or even longer um, as long as they last they do last very long and they don't ever get stinky um, so I really like them uh, you could use them for a lot of different things but I use them for the dishes and um, they're scratch free they're really they're just great I love these and they're long lasting and this was only uh, $3.19 and it's a three pack so it's like a dollar a sponge um, which is a great deal for this quality now the scrub daddy i used to have one someone gifted it to me and then i just couldn't find them anymore and i never use them again but these are really cool they get really firm in cold water and they get soft in warm water it scrubs really well and you could throw this in the dishwasher to clean and disinfect so these are really cool also last super long so i just wanted to try one again um, and see how I like it. This was 419. So next, I'm sorry, 449. 449. Next, I have just this little oil bottle. This was four dollars and nineteen cents. It's by the brand Tablecraft. When I'm cooking, I always add more oil than I need because I just have this huge cumbersome bottle. So I wanted something that I could keep by the stove that's smaller and I could keep this by my stove and just um, control the amount of oil I use when I'm cooking. So in the home decor section, I got this basket uh, for my plant. My husband got me a really pretty majesty palm for my birthday. I'll insert a picture. It's just so gorgeous. And um, this basket actually fitted almost perfectly. Um, I mean, we couldn't take the plant inside the target to, to see the size, but um, it fits the plant well and it's a 12 inch pot. It's just a little too, um, the plant is higher. It's, it's, it's higher, it's, it's higher than the basket. So unfortunately it didn't work for my plant. He's getting me another basket, <laughs> but I will be able to use this for another plant. And this was only $10. So I think it's really good. It's super sturdy and flexible at the same time. The construction is really good. So I will definitely be keeping this and using it for another plant. And lastly, I'm working on um, my Valentine's Day crafts for the kids. And I know you guys saw all the footage of all the wonderful things they have there. I just picked up the little stickers. I ended up getting these puffy stickers. I'm only making four um, treat bags for my daughter's Sunday school class. Uh, these were $3 and it's a 12 count of stickers. What's cool is that there's this set, there's one design and then there's another design on the back. So I could give them two of each and I'll have even some left over. So I just thought these were cute. I'm really working on doing non-candy Valentines um, for the girls um, just because it's better, it's healthier. And I, I wanna look for some little crafts or things that I could put in there. So I might be going to like Dollar Tree for that. 
The last thing I got was um, this little stamp set from Spritz. It was $5. Um, not too bad. Uh, I'm sure you can get um, like more quality stamps, you know, for a better deal. But I just love these. They have a uh, little hearts, a little ladybug, and the ladybug spots are hearts as well. And it has L-O-V-E in here. And then it comes with the mini little stamp pad. Um, and I just think they're so neat. My kids love playing with stamps. And I also like to mail um, cards a lot, uh, you know, personal cards, handwritten cards. And I love decorating the envelopes with stamps or putting a little stamp in the card. So I am definitely gonna get some use out of these and they're fun for kids to play with and craft as well. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for being with me and happy 2021 once again. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.